Beware of using hydroquinone for age spots. Hello, this is Sydney Johnston of blissplan.com and we need to talk about this hydroquinone because it is very commonly used in skincare products to take away all the yucky, nasty age spots that none of us like. It's very common. It's used in all kinds of products besides skincare like hair products, relaxers, and colorant. But there's a truth you need to know about this dangerous stuff, and that is that it is a very dangerous chemical. And it has some real awful consequences. In fact, hydroquinone is just a disaster. For example, it's thought to be a carcinogen, causes cancer, promotes and creates allergies, compromises the immune system. It's a neurotoxin, so it can affect the functioning of your brain. If you use it, it makes you very vulnerable to damage from the sun's rays. And it's been banned in the European Union, but it's still used in the United States. Now, if you want to know how bad it is, let's look at what the Cosmetic and Safety Database has to say about it. Now, what they do is they rate chemicals from 0 to 10, and the higher the number, the more dangerous it is. Now, you can see from this screenshot that hydroquinone is a 9, so it's almost the very worst thing you can possibly have. Now, this is a great database. It has a lot of cool information, but honestly, it's pretty boring unless you're really interested in reading up on research papers and all that sort of thing. So if you really want to know all the details about it, you can go to their site and they have tons of references for studies that have been done on it and all that sort of thing. Now, when we started this, we included that graphic that had the picture of the skull on it. So that's sort of kidding, but it was just to make a point. It's not like if you use hydroquinone that you're going to just slowly keel over dead, gasping your last breath, or that the flesh is going to be melting from your body or you're being consumed by some horrible inner bacteria. It's nothing like that, but here is something to think about. Now, again, with science, there's never any totally clear-cut answers, I guess, but they're speculating, the scientists and archaeologists, that the oldest known pre-human or homin hominid, I guess it's called, species, resulted, they found evidence of it six to seven million years ago. But all these chemicals that we're swimming in in our lives have only been in use for about 50 years. So think about it. Using the seven million year figure, that means we've had 6,999,950 years without all these chemicals. And now 50 years with all this horrible stuff. Regardless of whether this was a true pre-human, one of our ancestors, none of that matters. The point is we've had millions of years on this planet without all this stuff. And just looking at some of the names of these 1 comma 4 benzene diol. I mean, this is, these are some of the other names for hydroquinone. So the point of it is, Mother Nature just hasn't had time, evolution hasn't had time, for our bodies to adjust to all these chemicals. So doesn't it make sense that we should try to avoid them or limit them as much as possible? Especially because there are a lot of, well, two that I know of, non-toxic alternatives. And we have an information packet on this called a safe way to get rid of horrid age spots. Two safe ways that your skin will lighten, just like hydroquinone, but they're not finding all these horrible side effects and they're not these terrible chemicals. So why not use a safe treatment, especially since it's inexpensive, rather than adding another chemical? Because hydroquinone is considered one of the most dangerous chemicals that exist in cosmetics and skincare products, and you should avoid them. So make sure you check your product labels and do your homework to find out if it's in any of your skincare products. A safer way is to do what we do. We make our own skincare products, and then we know exactly what's in them, and we can eliminate all chemicals. Thank you for listening. This is Sydney Johnston, and have a great day.